Okay, this is my first test dive of my Seawolf RC sub. I've downloaded all the batteries into the thing, six C batteries and four AA batteries. And you need another six AA batteries for the transmitter. Every now and again you'll see the motor on the sub fire off because there's apparently some kind of delicate uh, zeroing needed. There's a, a speed trim and a left right steering trim knob on the transmitter and apparently it doesn't zero exactly so every now and again the one or other motor fires off. And now I'm going to push the dive 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 and it might dive down into its little tank. I've had to also set up all the weights on this thing. They supply six round weights. This thing has needed three of those. And they supply hmm, maybe a dozen little square weights for the balancing, the uh, left-right balancing. And I've had to use about six of those too to level it off. It's not exactly in the level of the water that they recommend, which is just up to the top of the conning or the bottom of the conning tower but it's good enough. Basically it has to return to the surface if the motors or batteries fail. So here goes the dive button. Now it seems to dive to the bottom of the ocean. You can see the antennas stuck in a little straw. That's the way this thing is recommended to be set up. When the straw, which contains the antenna, when that goes underwater radio signal is cut off and it will return to the surface at least that's the theory let's have a look at the the back prop there it's firing off every now and again I'm not actually touching anything I can actually make it go forward and back I'll tr try not to hit the prop on the plastic bucket and it steers left and right uh, you might be able to see that and of course it goes up and down via a separate little propeller underneath. You can also see there's a few bubbles pop out as it dives. Apparently it exhausts an air bladder as well just as it dives. So not a bad little toy. Blop, blop, blop. So we're going to be taking it down to the local lake tomorrow to see how it works in a bit muddier water.